Merry Christmas. Ish. Second time it's happened. A lot easier to work with when it's like that. There's another tyre appeared. Some good stuff in here. It's just need a wee nick. Right, get up. The mileage is looking good. Just it's not supposed to be over there. Deal with all that took. Hi. Picking up now. I suppose I should probably get this sorted. Got all these tires to shift. Then I've got this green hap to get out of that. Then some plastic that's buried there. And then on top of the pit, it's all shifted as well. So I should probably move all that too. So that's going to take a minute too. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Well, these are handy to set the camera up on. Right, there's a few tyres to move. Just going to put all the tyres over to the side out of the way and I'll get it with a forklift bucket soon. Ish. There's already a wee pile here that I've been moving out of the way as I've been going. Shifted them from over there. This part that had fell down first. I've been working away at it but it's after yesterday's carry on with the wind it's all gubbed now and really need to get going with this and the silage face isn't looking very nice here looking a little bit black to be honest so well, need to nibble away at it with a, the shear grab here and get rid of that bad stuff we can't give that to the milking herd don't want the milk to drop <coughs> we're giving them off silage you know steamy hot off stinking shitty silage <laughs> Not really handy. <clears throat> I hate it when these silage pits collapse. It's always a hassle. more frustrating because this is the second time it's happened this year in this pit don't really know why because the silage would not really come in all that wet either so it's just annoying ah We've got all these tires to deal with because it took them all down with it. And then in here is still a crevasse as well. Because it's slipped and I've not got this bit away. So there might be some tyres right in there, or it might be alright, because this green hap's kind of saved it, I think. Don't really know what's going on here. It's kind of cling film. <laughs> no 
don't really need all this stuff in my mouth. Carry that. Right, that's one bit of plastic out the way, I suppose. Oh, there's another tire. I'm lucky it's not peeled away and there is a big hole here, you know. So I actually just slid down without leaving a big gap. A lot easier to work with when it's like that. Still, not handy though. Tire appeared, two tires. <sighs> Fantastic, eh? Thankfully, it's not as windy today. There's a wee bit of a wind, but none compared to yesterday's weather. I can't believe how much of this half it's pulled back up there. Absolutely hellish. Not ideal. But that's one part done. Need to get all this up. Well, get this back up there, you know, the tyres and that all belong up on the side wall. Got all this dung here. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. Uh, it's kind of black and skittery, so that's not handy. Uh, I mean, there's some good stuff in here. It's just need a wee nick with a grab and then away it goes somewhere else, so climb up here and we'll try and sort the pit up, up the top. See, this is what it looks like when it slips away. What a brilliant day. I wasn't looking forward to this, but it's just one of the things that has to be done. Right. Fuck in. Go back, get up. Oh. What do you think of my sexy blue leggings, hey? They really get the job done. Keep you a little bit dry. I'm not the best. As you would have seen in my video, bringing cattle back that didn't come back. <sighs> yeah, silage is looking good, just it's not supposed to be over there. Oh. One just really caught it. It's really made a mess of this today. So it has I mean it'd be fine if I was pulling that if I was using all of that tomorrow but we're not it's just gonna make this go off uh, you can see where the crows and whatnot have been pecking through the dark patches I should really have brought the, the wee hairy hang for the top of the microphone for this, but...
can't remember everything, all right. <laughs> oh. Right. Yes. Of course, as soon as I climb up here, eh, the wind just picks up. It doesn't matter if you're in the pit in the winter or in the summer, every time you go near it, the wind picks up, doesn't it? Yes. Every bloody time. Away the wind goes again. I mean, that's just been easiest deal with all that took a lot more effort oh aye I mean a self rolling back cap would be a nice thing but not not to this extent <laughs> oh Jesus uh, oh that's this sort it looks like it's because we lost to half the tyres down there and then they peeled off the front of this that was holding this down and then the wind just caught the extra plastic that was there and it's just sheared it right back here. <sighs> this is uh, just a brilliant day, so it is. Brilliant day. going. I mean, I'm going to want it quite close to the edge because I've got all this to use. Why is it every time wind catches? Every time. Every time, as soon as you go near the silage pit, the wind picks up. Not like I've been up here yesterday. With all this would have been impossible. And I would have got blown away. It's almost impossible right now. Picking up now. Merry Christmas. I'm hoping the microphone's all right because it's here and when I stand I'm back to the wind, which is where I am the most of the time today. It's picking up everything all right. As soon as I turn into it, I can see the wee thing on the side of the camera going daft. I can see the thing on the side of the camera going daft, so looks like it's okay right now.
really know what to do with this green hat. I did say it's windy. I didn't expect it to catch the camera like that. The net's wrapped up with a green hat. So I'm just going to need to keep yanking until I get it out. Right, now this green hat is confusing me. Because there's tyres rolled up in it all as well now. I don't really understand. <laughs> right, so the... Oh my god. The tyres here, on top of what used to be on the bottom. Which is... Really confusing me. <laughs> this is supposed to be over here. Everything else should just roll out. But the issue is there's tyres in the middle of it all. And again, the camera falls over by the wind. It's hard to tell whether can't just keep looking round at this and going, oh, it's fell over. I'm trying to get on as well. This camera's been recording for 25 minutes. Oh. See the pile of wee bit of tyres there. The tyres there. And all the tyres are flung off at the side. Could really do with those tyres that are off the face up here. There's my dad away. He looks like he's going to go away up the road to feed the calves up there. So Getting there now. Imagine this. Rehabbing a silage pit in December. What day is it today? The 22nd? <laughs> Three days before Christmas and we're rehabbing the silage, but fantastic. <laughs> right, I'll finish this up and then it'll be melting time by looks like so hope you all enjoyed today's video of me getting a workout when it wasn't required. I'm sure I get plenty of tyres on it, but that was unbelievable amount of wind. Right, it's calmed down now. As soon as the hap's down, the wind calms down. Oh my god. <laughs>